Uh, I'm going to make a, I don't know what it's called, a, a backstop or something like that for my sheep chute. Uh, when they go through the chute, the guillotine gate is closed. They can't go any further. This is uh, so they won't back up and back out of the chute. So what I'm doing is using an old total gem. And you may say to yourself, fat boy, you need to be working out on said total gym. At which point I'll tell you that I found another one at an estate sale. And I pretty much wore this one out. Wore the rollers out and the uh, rollers were gonna be like 70 bucks. So I found that for 25, the other one for 25. So uh, this is the slide rail that the Total Gym, this is the Chuck Norris thing that goes up and down. Uh, this is the, the slide that the, uh, the rail, uh, the rollers went up and down on. And I'm going to cut it in half or cut it at about two feet and make an L shape, weld this to this and make an L shape out of it. And I'll show you how that works out for me. Okay, so I cut it in half or, or two feet here. I believe it's probably, I think it's 21 inches there. Welded it together, don't laugh at my welds. I'm still learning how to use the uh, little wire welder. Um, I'll drill a hole through here, both sides, here and here. That will be my pivot point. You get a better idea when you see it in action. Okay, here's the stop in place. I drilled, as I said, I think I told you, I drilled a hole through here, hole through here. This is my pivot point right here. Uh, drilled a hole in the pallet. This is a pallet, my chute is made out of pallets. And uh, so this is my uh, hinge, my pivot point. Uh, as the sheep go in, A little too long. Well, that actually. As my sheep go in, I will raise it up, let them enter the chute, and I'll have my guillotine gate down. When they get in there, as many as I want in there, I can get in there. Then I lower this. All this does is keep them from from backing out. This is the stop. They can't. If they push against that. If they push against that going that way, then they're pushing down on this. So this, this stops them from going in reverse. Um, I may lower it just a little bit simply because a lamb, uh, at that height, a lamb can get under it, and uh, which may be okay. I, I just hadn't, uh, I'm gonna do lambs a little bit different. Uh, I'll probably reach down there and pull them out of here when it's time for, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, so I can, all I gotta do to, uh, in fact, it'll be multiple. If I don't have lambs, I can just leave it like it is. If I have lambs, I can drill a hole here or here, wherever, and uh, drop that drop that down a little bit. Uh, right now, it hits them just a little bit below the tail, kind of on the haunches, and that should stop them from backing up. It may not stop another one from putting his nose under it and coming this way, but if there's room, I don't mind him coming this way. So, uh, but anyway, I, and, uh, so that's, it will, you know, normally stay up like this. So I need to, I'll pull that rod, that piece of rebar out and just put it under there to keep it from going down. That'll get them in here, drop it down and they're caught. Okay. Uh, and if the guillotine gate is closed, they can't, uh, they can't back up. So I can work on them, do what I got to do. Just give them a shot. Give them some worming medicine, whatever. You know, just looking at it now, I believe I probably will uh, drill holes uh, in the next uh, next one down. Okay, so I lowered it a little bit, and I didn't say, but uh, you can probably see the little PVC shims I have to kind of keep it straight. Uh, this is only about uh, 15 inches wide, and the chute is 17, so a couple of inch, two, two and a half inches of uh, shim on each side to keep it straight uh so here's 
you know, it, it may be a little low. I'm gonna run them through here in a minute and just see if they'll, uh, if they'll come through their heads. They, they may have to duck just a little bit to get under that bar there. So they might not like it and I might have to uh, fix it, but uh, I'll have it up like this when they come through. Pull that rod out right there, drop it down. It's at an angle, which most of them I've seen are at an angle like that, where when they start backing up, their butt hits that, and they just stop, don't go any further. So that's the plan, we'll see how it works. I'll, uh, when I get ready to work them, I'll, uh, I'll set up some cameras and such, and we'll, uh, we'll show you, see how it works. But right now, I like it. That is it. Drop it down. That bar's in place means they can't go that way. They're pushing down on that unless they break my wheels. <laughs> Not saying they won't. Uh, and if I do work lambs, then I'll, all I'll have to do is uh, drill a couple more holes in that one right there, lower it down about more, six more inches, and that would put that nearly on the ground. Uh, that would put that about six inches from the ground so that I'd ought to keep the lambs in keep them from backing up if I want to work lambs out of it so anyway there it is backup uh, stop whatever you call it I'll look it up and see what you can actually call it and that's what I'll name my video right now I'm just calling it a backup a stop backstop butt stop I don't know I think it's gonna work fine and we go